Hi, my name's Laura Mackey. Thank you for joining me today for me to show you how I made the Christmas wreath card using the Christmas banners stamp set. Right, so let me share with you the card that we're going to make. Um, obviously, you've already seen this and this is why you've clicked on um, my video. Well, hopefully that is why. So this is the card that we're going to make. It's inspired by, one, um, inspired by one I saw from Stampin' Up! that they'd used the, the wreath builder and stuff. And I love creating wreaths with little leaves like this, um, stamps. I um, haven't done it for ages. Um, but I thought the Christmas Banners stamp set was perfect. And we're using this stamp set here. I've also got another one, which is not stuck down yet, but it's using that leaf. So that one there. Um, these are on a crumb cake base, um, which I'm gonna to use today a gray granite base. Um, so they go on there. So that's the two different cards. You'd also see the red, and then this one's got um, white, um little pearled little embellishmenty things there and that is actually using the um pearlized enamel effects so i've used them to create that so let's get and make the card right first off you're going to need a card base card base i'm using as a c6 card base today um getting my chamois ready to clean my stamps so it's a c6 card base which this is a4 and it is 21 centimeters wide by 14.85 and then i've scored it in half at 10.5 that's our card base what i have done on the card base i have used little holly um Stamp just to add just some little holly details, um, which are quite sweet. Um, there, just to so our card base is not completely um, plain. So that's that. Now just move that out of the way. Um, so that was grey granite ink. This is old olive ink. And then you want a piece of white. I'm using basic white here, which measures nine centimeters by nine centimeters. And you can see there that sits on there nicely with a little border at the top and then a larger border at the bottom. So, and then I'm gonna grab my leaf stamp. And the easiest way to, I find, well, I find to achieve this wreath look with the stamp is to stamp at 12, 6, 3 and 9. So I'm going to now turn it right the way around and stamp again at 12 as such, but it's it's kind of 6 because we've just done 12. Then we're going to stamp the two in between. I think my um, <laughs> old olive ink pad could do with a little... Um, re-inking so once we've got those three positions in place we actually want to go in and fill in the gaps and it's what i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp it once in first generation and then i'm going to stamp it again in second generation so you start to build fill in the gaps so one two and then same again one two and this in there one two and then I'm going to go in and fill some more gaps. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my stamp and then stamp it off onto my grid sheet. Because I just want it to be quite pale. I don't want it to be too intense. Because these ones are sort of the in the foreground, as it were. So there we go. We have a really lovely, nice, circular wreath shape. Just pop that out of the way. Bring my card base back in and I'm going to pop that down flat. I'm going to add four little dimensions to the corners and one in the centre. I'm going to just sneakily lay that kind of where it's going to go. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to stamp my greeting. The greeting I'm using is also from the um, Stame Stamp Set, the Christmas Banners. And it's going to go there. And it says Christmas. Whoops. Wishes. There. So that's my greeting. Stamping that the same in the grey granite 
pink. I'm going to go ahead and stick that back down. We'll stick it down this time as we didn't stick it the time before. I'm just going to cover up my ink pad so no whoopsies or disasters happen. I've added a little bow. This little bow is um, a little gingham ribbon, but you could add any colour ribbon. Um, I quite like the gingham. I thought it looked quite nice on the, the wreath. I'm just tying the little bow there. Um, I'll probably show you that again, actually, just for anyone that's unsure of tying a bow. So I do the little bunny ears, cross the bunny ears over, pop that bunny ear through and round, and then you can adjust the size of your bunny ears as such by pulling the tails on there. I'm just going to then trim the like that, and then using a glue dot, pop that in place. And then I'm gonna add the pearlized enamel effects in white. I'm just gonna close my card up because it's what I then need to do is I need to then leave the card um, somewhere to dry. And I'm just adding little random dots of these. Um, if you've never used them, these before, they're really easy to use. Um, you can vary the sizes of them depending on how much you um squeeze i would say have a little practice on a sheet though um if you haven't and you want to vary the size of them i've kind of got mine quite even hopefully you can see those um but then i'm going to leave that to one side now to fully dry thank you so much for joining me if you've enjoyed my video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and then you'll be notified when i upload more videos thank you bye bye